The JN Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge is the pride of Southwest Florida. Its wetlands stretch across 6,400 acres, occupying about a third of Sanibel and Captiva Islands. The refuge is here today mostly because of one man, Des Moines Register political cartoonist and humorist JN Ding Darling. He may have been able to turn a funny phrase, but Darling was serious about conservation and led the effort to protect this pristine place. Millions of nature lovers, bird watchers, and vacationers from all around the world come here each year. Today, months after the Category 4 storm, the preserve may look unscathed, but Ian's wind and water definitely took its toll. Storm surge like this uh, that floods the entire island, it sets the vegetative state, all the vegetation back probably a hundred years. It may take decades for the plants to regenerate, but many birds and beasts are already returning, even rare species. Over 245 different species of birds here throughout the year. Things like the reddish egret, canopy feeding, or the mangrove cuckoo, a secretive bird that you only see in the mangrove trees. So how did all the animals survive? So when storms hit, wildlife knows. They hunker down, they leave the area. The things we were concerned with were things like gopher tortoises. You know, they live in a burrow under the ground. They're a keystone species. They make homes for hundreds of animals. And to our surprise, um, seeing them again, it's, it's amazing. Like, it, it brings tears to your eyes when you come back to see things like that because that is resilience. Ranger Westland says she's seen other animals returning too, like bobcats and raccoons and biologists counting the birds say numbers are near normal. Seeing, you know, hope like white pelicans, they'll be heading north, but that they're back here in the refuge and seeing fish, new small fish all around, um, schools of minnows down there, I mean, that's all good signs that we need for the wildlife to, to stay here. The refuge is open to visitors once again. It was closed for six months while roads were rebuilt and the visitor and education centers repaired. Some nature trails and overlooks will take a little longer, but it's a good sign of a new beginning naturally.